There's nothing wrong, there's nothing missing, there's nothing lacking, but we feel there is. And perhaps it's because we don't really immerse ourselves fully and imaginatively in what we're doing and allow ourselves, have permission to enjoy what we're doing. So take, for example, eating just some old yoghurt. This is how people often eat, and I do sometimes. You know, maybe we'll be watching TV, or reading a book, or talking to someone, and barely even tasting it. All you have to do is enjoy what you're doing at the very moment of doing it. So let's rewind and go back. So, I've got this pot of yoghurt in front of me. And if just for a moment I access that feeling of this being like a virtual world, just reminding myself this is a game and there's other tips you can do this. Um, I've shown before on a, on a video but if you point at things and then point to yourself you can't, you can see your finger but you can't see what it's pointing to, you, you just have this sense of being space, space and, and consciousness. So anyway, once you've accessed that that feeling of this just being like a virtual game, then everything's quite amazing. <laughs> wow. This beautiful object. And when you take a spoonful or a forkful or whatever, and you look at it, and let yourself play imaginatively. Like, I like to think I'm this big, this big. Like in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and I dive into this food, and I just imagine myself totally immersed in this lemony, yogurty goo, and And then when I close my eyes, my whole body, from head to foot, is flooded with the taste. Mm. And if it wasn't yoghurt, if it was things on a plate, I might play with it, move it around. But the key is that I am enjoying this very simple thing, eating. I might even squish it around in my mouth. can't remember her name, Jill Roberts or something? So a lady who had a stroke and she wrote a book, Stroke of Insight. She talks about how she, using her right mind, she just plays with food and, and enjoys it. It was such a joy. And life is so satisfying when we just enjoy the simple things. And we just have to give ourselves permission to do it. So you can enjoy sitting down in the warm. You can enjoy the feeling of walking and getting exercise. You can enjoy the feeling of really just zoning out, watching TV and doing nothing. No, that's allowed as well. You're always allowed. Enjoy the amazing thing of sitting in front of another being, these crazy characters that populate this world, and interacting with this being who is yourself. And wow, look at their eyes and that consciousness that's there. You know, it's all so amazing. Life is... Life is... Life is not a chore. It's not serious. It's not 
something for us to worry about. It's more like a game, like a, a dream, like a virtual reality. And all we're asked to do is, well, nothing actually. We're not asked to do anything. All we can do is either choose to suffer by taking it all really seriously and getting wound up about our meaning and our purpose, or we can just cho choose to enjoy and relax. And live in easy world is another way I've heard it expressed by Julia Rogers Hamrick, I think. And that's a, a brilliant book. I recommend that. We all have our own insight into things, but really that it all comes down to the same. Life is here to be enjoyed. And we always knew that deep down. It's It's the human mind and the ego and the society and the education that sort of starts to squeeze the fun, adventure and curiosity and pure love out of this experience. But, for whatever reason, Chronological time seems to show that people are waking up, loosening their attachments to things that don't matter. And we can, we can just give ourselves permission to be simply happy with simple things like eating a tub of yogurt, taking a breath. talking to someone. Life is no more or no less than that. Okay, that's the end.